children. I'm really happy to be able to explain to you today about the helpers that we need in St Bede's. I don't mean St Bede's school, I mean St Bede's church. Now, when I was your age and going to St Bede's school, the school was only next door to the church which is lovely for us as children to run round and into church. But you are in Kimberworth. Now, when you get a little bit older, you'll walk down to church with your teacher and Mrs. Wassell and Mr. Sharp, but I'm told they walk very quickly. Now, shall we have a look at the inside of the church? As you can see, it's really big so needs many helpers to help keeping it looking neat and tidy for Jesus to live there. We believe that God lives in the tabernacle. I'll show you a close-up of the tabernacle later. These ladies help me each week to sweep and polish and keep the church looking really clean and tidy. And during the COVID, we had to use a very special spray and spray it all over the benches everywhere to kill all the COVID germs. To keep the church looking really bright and clean, this is my friend Rosa. She loves to polish these candlesticks, keep them gleaming and bright so that they are sparkling when we have any celebration of Mass in the church. I usually clean these huge candlesticks that are on the altar. As you can see, I can't really reach the top. I have to lift them down, polish right up to the top and then lift them back up again. And they're very heavy. Sometimes I could do with some help. Perhaps you could come and help me one day when you're older. Now, doesn't the church look beautiful? all the brasses gleaming and the flowers decorating round the altar. Now, do you think these flowers are real? <laughs> well, no, they look real, don't they? They are artificial, which means not real. Many ladies are required to help arrange the flowers. It's a very important job because we depict different occasions and change the colour to suit the occasion. Here you can see two ladies arranging fresh flowers. Can you see they've got them in water until they're ready to arrange them? Aren't they doing a good job? Now, when you're a little bit older, you'll be able to walk down to church to celebrate Mass, as I said before. Here are some children who've already walked down. You may recognise some of them. Here am I giving out the hymn sheets. I'll give you a sheet when you come down to church and then you can sing all the hymns that we sing during Mass. Right at the back of church, you can see Father waiting for all the children to come down. And above his head is the wooden area is where the choir go to sing and where the organist goes to play the organ. We'll see it on one or two pictures in the church and later I'll show you how they get up there. Here are some more children for you to look at. You may know some of them. If ever you are asked to read at Mass, do take the opportunity, won't you? We do need readers as well. These children have just read prayers at Mass and Father's always very proud of them. And it is a privilege to take a part in the Mass. I think this young lady felt a little bit nervous. Father's listening intently to her prayers, so she's just having a little bit of help from one of her teachers. Another type of help that we need are people to bring up the bread and wine. So the, this is the offertory procession. Here you can see Father receiving the hose and the decanter of wine. Perhaps one day you could be asked to do this very important job. 
Some of you may know about receiving Holy Communion and some of you won't have learnt about it yet. But here are some children receiving Holy Communion. If you haven't made your communion, Father will give you a little blessing on your forehead. Then you go away and say a little prayer. Now, I would like you to take notice of this gentleman. His name is Dougie. Dougie has served in St. Bees for many, many years. And I can think of 10 different priests that have been at St. Bees that Dougie has helped. He is an altar server and usually it's children, but Dougie is 90 years old. I went to his 90th birthday party. So he's been helping priests for years and years. It would be wonderful if some of you boys and girls could become altar servers and help Father. He does need a great deal of help while saying Mass. After Mass, you can see these two children praying at the icon of Our Lady. I wonder, are they praying for someone who's sick? Or praying for someone to help with spellings? You all have your own prayers that you need to pray about. This is Mrs Wassell bringing the children back up from church up to St Bede's in Kimberworth. Before you leave church, this kind lady will make you a drink of pop and give you a biscuit. She helps me. So you see, there's all sorts of people that have to help, not just inside the church, but in the parish rooms as well. She has to make Mr Sharp a special cup of coffee. Look at these cheeky faced children. But they're on the way back up the hill and look what happens next. These children have to have a sit down and a rest. And Mrs Wassell's still marching on. It's not just children that read at Mass, it's adults as well. And here you can see me reading. Another help to Father. When I was ill recently, there was no one else there to help him. He had to do all the readings himself and he didn't get his sit down. While we look at this picture, I want you to observe that there are no flowers and everything's purple. And that's because it is Advent, the special time of year when we wait for the birth of baby Jesus. I just wanted to show you, instead of flowers, we have the Advent wreath. And if you notice, the tabernacle is covered in purple because it's a time of waiting. This is another job for a helper, changing the colours for different feast days. It's usually green all the year, but if it's a feast day, it can be red. If it's Our Lady's feast day, it can be white. So another big job that does help Father. If we zoom in onto the Advent wreath, you can see the candles. One is lit every Sunday before Christmas day. On Christmas Day itself, the white candle is lit. This is a smaller altar. This is Our Lady's altar. Now, isn't this a beautiful statue? And who do you think she is holding? I wonder, could anyone think who this statue could be of? It is Saint Bede, who your school and the church is named after. He was a very clever man and wrote many books. Some of you may read these when you get a little older. They're very interesting about his life as a monk. You may remember earlier I pointed out the organ loft to you where the choir go and sing and the organist plays the organ during mass. Now, your teacher, Mrs Eastwood, she's related to one of the choir members who has the most beautiful voice. It really enhances the mass when Mrs Eastwood Senior sings with the choir. Oh, now, who can tell me what this is? It is the font where babies are baptised. I wonder, were any of you baptised in this font? Now, 
Here we have two doors, the usual wooden door and this big white steel door. What could it be? It is the safe where all the chalices and special records of baptisms, weddings and funerals are kept. They have to be kept under lock and key because they are so important. Now, do you remember we've seen Father when he's come to say Mass at school? We've seen him in a chasuble. That's the garment he wears to say Mass. We've seen him in purple, in green, probably red. So this is where they all hang until Father chooses one that fits the day, whatever the feast day is. Mainly he wears the green because that's the longest ordinary time during the church's year. But next time he comes up to say Mass in school, I wonder what colour he will be wearing. On the opposite side of this room, here you can see all the cotters. That's the name of the clothes that the servers wear. Now we need very many helpers as you're gathering. We need help to keep these white and clean. We need to wash and iron them. So one day when you're older, I hope you'll help me wash and iron these clothes. If you'll become a server, this is where you'll find your cotter to wear. They're all different sizes. And of course, Dougie's is the longest because he's an adult, but you'd find one to wear. And Father does need help during mass to pass him the bread and the wine. When he washes his hands, you have to pass him a towel to dry his hands. He really does need altar service. But you have to have made your first Holy Communion before you can help Father with this job. This is one of my favourite jobs to do, one of my favourite helps to Father. It's being a Eucharistic minister. That means taking the Holy Communion out to the sick. Here is an example of a little altar. I carry in my bag a little altar that I make up. Have a candle, holy water, the host, prayer book and a crucifix. And I go out to the sick in their homes or a nursing home if they're very old and sick. And we say our prayers together and they're so pleased to be able to take a part in a little service as they cannot come to Mass while they are sick or very old. And when I tell them that the children at St. Bede's are praying for them, oh, they are overjoyed. It means so very much to them that you keep them in your prayers. I'm sure you all know where the school office is, where Mr Booth works. Well, church has an office where Mr Beaumont's mum works. She answers the telephone, writes letters, deals with so many things. She does so, so many jobs. She's a very big help to father. But one day when you're older, you may be able to help with jobs like this. We do need helpers to keep the church running well. Now, sometimes there are jobs that we cannot do, so we have to send for an expert. It may be something like the electric going wrong, a burst water pipe. So who do you think we send for? Yes, this is who we send for. I'm sure you all know this gentleman. Look at this beautiful statue of the Sacred Heart. It really is a lovely statue and Jesus is extending his arms to say how much he loves you all. Not only does the inside of the church need looking after, but the outside does as well, doesn't it? Here is a little piece of Father's garden and there's a big gate at the side. Another helper then, a gardener. I'm sure some of you have little gardens at home. So you can practice on those and you can come and look after Father's garden. He needs all the help he can get. If you go through the gate, 
you come to this new graveyard. On the other side of the church is the old graveyard. And some of those gravestones are over a hundred years old. I wonder, does anybody recognise the building at the back of the picture? <laughs> yes, I'm sure some of you do. So it just shows you St. Pete's Church isn't on the main road, but it's so close to the town, close to New York. Next time you're driving away from the town or from New York Stadium, have a look to your right and you'll see the church. Not many people know it's there because it's tucked away on a side road. At the end of the day, when all the helpers have gone home and are going to bed, Father will go to bed. He lives in the house at the side of the church, so he hasn't far to go, has he? And when it's dark and he's saying his prayers, he probably says a big thank you for all the helpers he has had throughout the day to keep St. Bede's looking good, neat and tidy. And I do hope some of you will, as you get older, want to help Father. Do you know what I was wondering? Do you think he snores? Now, if you have any questions you would like to ask about the various jobs I've talked about, if you'd like to write them down, Mr Sharp will bring them home and I will do my very best to answer them. Hopefully now you'll see that Father and the church need many helpers every single day to keep it looking beautiful, clean and tidy and decorated for the house of God. Let's just recap on some of the helpers. Readers, cleaners, gardener, office manager, altar servers, flower arrangers, a handyman, housekeeper, Eucharistic ministers, help with the offertory procession, and for people to bring people to church. Thank you for allowing me to talk to you today. I hope it's helped you with your RE topic. And I really hope that one day I'll be able to call into school and see you all. God bless.